Hello YouTube! So today I thought that we could talk about decision making and adulthood and how those two things factor together. But first, I want you all to go watch my friend Alex's new video on his channel. He just did a sort of relaunch of his channel for his very first piece. He answered five of the questions that I asked him and he talks about really great things in it like nerdy culture and Harry Potter and some of his own creative writing stuff and if you're a horror fan you need to go listen to it because it was really good and so yeah you should go check him out he and I have been friends for forever and I'm really excited for him that he's starting this new thing He's also one of the reasons that I started thinking about decisions and decision making. He is relaunching his YouTube channel as part of his sort of summer goals and interest in lifestyle things that he's working on. He also started a new blog over on LiveJournal. Are, are they called blogs on LiveJournal? I don't actually know. But he started that and it was a really beautifully written piece about some of the frustrations of our generation and how challenging some of our unique positions are. And it got me thinking a lot about generations, about how much I hate the word millennial, and about how a lot of times it feels like most of the decisions that we are making as a generation are just asserting again and again and again that we are, we are valid, we exist, and we're not here for people to shit on us. And so that led to me making the executive decision to replace the word millennial with snake people all over the internet thanks to a Chrome extension. And it's also led me to being a little bit more assertive when I'm talking to uh, members of my parents' generation and my grandparents' generation because I find that out of respect for them, out of fear of backlash, out of just sort of my general personality sometimes, I don't always speak up when I need to, and I don't always say the things that are important. And in general, I find trouble being direct when I am communicating, and I've noticed that that leads to some really nasty stuff, especially if your cohort that you're interacting with is also not very direct. It leads to a lot of second guessing, a lot of what did they really mean by that, and almost kind of passive aggression in some cases, because if you're upset with someone but you can't convey that directly, that's a problem. And it leads to more problems than it fixes. So I've been trying to be more direct, and it's going really well, actually, in being more direct about what's going on with my life and saying, no, I am doing everything I need to be doing, I got this, I've actually been able to sort of get a better gauge of where other people stand with me. And that's been really encouraging and great. And it helps a little bit with the ever-present fear of, am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Am I doing this right? Am I even qualified for this? And I think that those questions come up a lot when we're making major decisions. And I know for me, a lot of times I feel like I'm not qualified to be making the decisions that I'm making. And that's categorically untrue. Dr. Lindsay Doe just did a video on how to adult about making decisions. And one of the things that she talked about that really resonated with me is that a lot of times our problems are the fact that we have a lack of options, or we think we do. She said that phrasing it as, should I quit my job or not? Or should I move out or not? Are more issues with the way we phrase, because we're suggesting that there are only two options, 
when in reality we have more options than we think and if we consider some of those other options we might find a better fit or we will get a good idea of what we really do want and since i struggle with that a lot i just thought that that was really helpful and constructive and it's something that i'm looking forward to trying out so yeah for all of you becoming adults and new adults and even old adults who want a little bit of a revamp i hope that how to adults video can help you with making decisions i hope that you do a great job of saying that you are and i hope that you imagine other people complexly because compassion and the capacity for human understanding are two of the most brilliant things that are going to help with adulthood. Until next time, don't forget to be awesome. Bye YouTube!